When we get discouraged, we almost feel ashamed. We almost feel embarrassed. We almost feel guilty. We don't want anybody to know that we're discouraged. I doubt when you turned to your neighbor and said hello or whatever, they spoke up and said, I'm really discouraged today. Nobody does that. And yet it's almost like we ignore the dangers of prolonged discouragement. And the people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us out, out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? They were saying, why are we in this desert? Why are we going through this? And usually when people get discouraged, it's because of the way that God is leading them. You thought it would be an easy way and it's a hard wilderness way. And when you don't have answers for your questions, no explanations as to why it seems everything's going wrong. And then on top of that, you're waiting and waiting and waiting. This breeds discouragement. Another area that causes discouragement, and this is so important, is trying to force fruit out of season. You can't ignore the time. Do not be weary in well-doing, and in due season you will reap if you don't faint. Many people are trying to get fruit in the season before it's due. And the important thing is when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son. And the point is you cannot force something to happen out of season and you have to learn to wait. But many people get discouraged. Discouragement is born when we compare ourselves with somebody else. When we begin to compare ourselves with somebody else, but let me tell you what ought to cause great joy to come to your life, is if you'd stop comparing yourself to other people and you would just remember where you came from and remember where you started and remember how much God has blessed you. You're doing more, you're seeing more, you're achieving more. But if you start comparing yourself with someone else, you can get discouraged because they're doing more maybe than you're doing. But the greatest way to get on your feet and praise the Lord is just think about where I came from. Just think about what God started me out as and where I am today. And it's encouraging to not compare yourself with others. And the thing the enemy wants to do that keep you, that will keep you in discourage is convince you that this time, you're not gonna make it. This time and every time, God will not fail me.